Hello guys, welcome along to uh, an Xbox 360 pickup and I'm just going to briefly just go over the summary for the last month because um, now we're into December already which is a um, busy month for everybody especially with families and that which I am but um, so let's just go over the month of November I picked up a total of 19 games for the Xbox collection um, which put me on 269 as a total, which was pretty good going actually for um because I'd seem to have been kind of started off really really buying loads of games and then it kind of dip and dip and dip and dip but last month I just seemed to get a lot of cheap games um you know because I'm not gonna just pay any money for any game that I need. It's got to be um cheap and in decent condition eh? so I got 19 last month which is pretty good for it for the month. So let's just start. I've got four games here through which I'm going to start from a December pickups. These have just been bought just last week and that. And um, so let's just go on. Let's just start with the one I've got today. And it's Kane and Lynch and it's Dead Men. And um, it comes with this cardboard sleeve, which is, I'm assuming sometimes like your HMV or Play.com do these kind of exclusive sleeves. Because I've never seen it with a sleeve before, so that's what I'm assuming it's, it is. Um, good condition or complete, and it's that was only two ninety nine. So that was very good to get. That. I was pleased to get that. So that's me got the both of them there. We've got a brand new game here, which I picked up from. It was like an Amazon. I think I might have came for Amazon, but anyway, it's uh, you, you star two. Um, I think you use the uh, Kinect. Which you do because then it's obviously the purple box do. So you use a connect and I think you just get yourself put into movies and that and I think you could upload them. But I don't think the online part it's on or something. I'm sure you could have um, uploaded yourself to like Facebook and, and stuff like that. Um, but obviously they've got other proper uh, films because I can see Star Trek The Next Generation, the proper logo for that. Wizard of Oz, The Matrix, The Godfather 300. So... Obviously they've got the proper um, permission to use all the movies and they can see all the uh, Universal, Warner Brothers, Liongate, Paramount and Sony at the back so obviously they got in touch with all these and got the proper... So it includes 80 scenes from... I think he's a big list of names 300, American Pie, Angels and Demons, Paul 13, Forrest Gump, Karate Kid Brilliant movie um, Not Professor, Rocky oh, Rocky Star Trek, The Terminator So. I've got it still, see I've not put it on you to see what it's like, but I will be putting it on to see what it's like because I'm sure that'll be great with fun with kids and that. Especially me as well, because I'm a lot of these. I'm not sure what you meant, it says pick your role and star in one of the big Hollywood's biggest blockbusters, stick to the script or improvise. Act solo or complete with friends in challenge mode and share online. It was only £2.70 or something delivered. Brand new. So these next two, which I got from my father-in-law, well, he had money. Um, he collected that so many points, loads of money in his thing. And he had some money in his card. I had some money in my card, and uh, purchased Dishonored. Um, at this moment in time, this is half price in game, which is in, in the UK. Um, you can get the original version, normal version for twenty-one pound. Or if you're lucky enough, you get a special edition for the same price. So obviously I went for the special edition, which is so much better because um, you get a you get a download code for the the Arcane Assassin Pack, um, which you get a lot of stuff in that. And uh, let's take a super bit actually thing in. So obviously you get the game, which just comes as normal, and that's um, all completing stuff. What you get in here, I thought I might have gave me a list of things because I've, I've got the card downstairs. But you get a list of stuff for that Arkane Assassin thing, there's a lot of stuff you get there. But you also get a pack of cards, which is really nice because I opened them up because you get, there's actually instructions in here how to play them. And um, so you get like a set of tarot cards, but you also get a set of, well, they're like normal cards, and I'm sure you could play them, but they're extra. You get a list and it tells you how to play games, so you get, um, let me show you these, so you get like 
the normal set, right? But these are obviously different. It's like a normal set, but then it's obviously different suits and that. So that's like guns on that. There's like kind of a slash heart with a, a skull on it, and that's obviously one to ten. And you get face cards, and you get rats, and you get like a sword. And these are your face cards. Right, so it's kind of like a normal packet that way, but there's a, there's a game you play bit. So you get that way, and also you get the tarot cards. Which again, it's unbelievable. Is that showing up all right? Doesn't it look like it's on, on my wee screen? You know, the Empress and all that kind of stuff. Let's look for a good one. That looks like um, the butcher for the... Um, New York, what is it? Gangs of New York. So you get the tarot cards, it's really nice, and again, you get instructions for playing the games if you want to play that. Really interesting game, I mean, I know this game never came out at the beginning of October, and I know why it's half price already, because this happened last year as well. All these games are coming out at this time, and um, you'll get a lot of good games coming out, like Dishonored, the Hitman game that's already coming down in price, but they're not, they're not going to sell. They're not going to sell the numbers because, and quite rightly, I mean, my son's 17 year old, but he said, well, he has stayed up to buy it was Call of Duty. So he's got his 40 quid spent on Call of Duty. He's then wanting Halo 4. So you're probably going to get that for Christmas, maybe, if he's, if he's been a good boy. <laughs> but he's not a type of then, but he's not going to have money to go and spend on a game like this or The Hitman. Um, so that's why they're coming down in price. I mean, I'm, a, I'm an adult and I work full time and I couldn't really, well, I can't even really afford to go out and buy four or five new games all within a month or two. You just can't do it. Um, so you can't expect even youngsters to do it, so they're going to get the game that, they're going to get the most enjoyment out of it. And especially if you're online, especially with Call of Duty, that's the game they're going to be playing with their friends, their clan matches and all the rest. So a lot of these games you get picked up cheap, so I mean this game's half price already. Um, I've only just done the start of it and um, played a wee bit at the front because you get thingied into jail. I don't want too much to say, but you're in jail and you try and get out of jail. And there's different ways you can do that. You can either sneak about the jail and um, use kind of non. Um, without killing anybody. Or you can go in gung ho, and that's what I've done. I had a gun, I've got a sword, so I'm just chopping their heads off, stabbing them. And then, so you've got a different choice. And supposedly the later levels after that, depending on what the choices you made back then, that opens up differently. Uh, I don't know how that works, but if you end up sneaking about without killing anybody, the game, it's the same level as you play, but it work, plays differently. Uh, so it sounds really good. I mean, so then on, you, you're going to have playability. You can replayability because you can go back to the different levels and try that a different way. Um, gorgeous graphics, great story so far. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend that. Although, like I said, I've only played the start of it. And it's because I've been playing this. And it's Lord of the Rings. And it's uh, Lego, Lo <laughs> Lego Lord of the Rings. Um, I mean, I knew this for a long time they were making Lord of the Rings. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. I have, um, I've watched the movies numerous times. I've read the books. I've got toys. I've got toys there here, toys there there. I've got jigsaws doing stairs, I've got um, two sets of DVDs, I've got the normal DVDs, double discs when they first come out, and then I've got the extended four discs film set. Um, I love it. And this is just fantastic. I mean, it's just... It's a Lego game, right? So it's, if you play the Lego game, it's a Lego game. So, you know, you, you, you bash things down to get more... Um, uh, Lego pieces, there's different bits you've got to build to try and solve the problem, to make a wee bridge, to get over to this next level, to... So it's a Lego game, and there's co-op in it, so that you can jump in, jump back out, easy. You um, unlock loads of stuff, there's loads of stuff to unlock, and there's also stuff that you have to go back to with certain characters to unlock, and all that kind of stuff, so that's all there. But with being Lord, uh, Lord of the Rings, it's just fantastic. This is the... I don't know... The limited edition set is it because it comes in a cardboard box and you get um, you get a wee Lego figure and it's um, Elron. And I'm just going to keep that sealed and keep it in here. And then so you, yeah, you get your game, um, which is in my Xbox because that's what I'm playing the new. Um, 
Love it, absolutely love it. I mean, the graphics are just amazing. I mean, in the music, right at the start, where you're in Hobbiton, and, and the Gandalf comes down with his horse and cart, and it's got the fireworks in the back, and it's just amazing, amazing. Uh, I put it on when I first got it last week. I remember I was playing it, it was 11 o'clock, and, um, and I remember the next time I looked up, it was 2 in the morning. Or a night past. Um, it's that good and you've also got this kind of open world feel to it because you can go to different parts because um, you also get a big massive bar you follow the wee blue pellets into where you're meant to go so like um, what was it um, like an where was the place I was going into and I can't mind where it is Hit no, no Helm's Deep what am I talking about anyway I there's loads and loads of stuff outside, but before you can go up to the top of the hill, and I can't mind what it is, and I'll put it down here because my mind's went blank, but you can spend loads and loads of times out it, and you can do the, all these different things. There's all these things all um, to open up for you. I went and got myself a, was it a donkey or something, and you can ride a donkey, and I didn't know what you meant to do, but obviously you meant to get past it in a certain part, be a different, but within a specific time. Um, so you can spend loads of time doing that without actually doing the main story. Um, and that's in all different parts each way you go. Um, brilliant. Absolutely fantastically brilliant and it's one of my best games so far this year. I like the Lego games anyway. Um, you know, I've got the Harry Potter ones and I've got uh, the Star Wars ones. Star Wars ones are fantastic. Um, and they've not really changed that much but um, why should it? I mean, it's great. They're fantastic games. They're easy to get in. The kids can play them. Adults can play them. But in this Lord of the Rings, it's just fantastic. So there we go. Four games I've picked up. Pittsburgh 273 collection for the collection so far. And um, a couple of brand new games. Because that Lord of the Rings was brand new. And the um, Dishonored were brand new. And uh, the Youth Star 2 was brand new. So there's three brand new games I've been bought. Which is, you know, like me. Um, bye. So thanks for watching, guys, and catch you next time. Cheers.